Hi, this is Dr. Tom McFadden of Advanced Cosmetic Surgery. We're here in Greenville, South Carolina. We do the full gamut of surgical and non-surgical cosmetic procedures here. And uh, let's see what video topic we're going to cover today. Hey guys, I'm Peter Felice. I'm a plastic surgeon at Advanced Cosmetic Surgery. And in this little video, we're going to break down a little bit of a before and an after for a patient of mine that underwent a breast reduction procedure. So a lot of times when I'm seeing patients who are interested in breast reduction, they come in with a very similar series of complaints and concerns. Um, overall size and shape of the breast, very heavy, uh, leading to back pain, neck pain, shoulder strap grooving. There can be some rashes underneath the fold of the breast. And patients who are really self-conscious about the way that they look in certain outfits and just simply can't be comfortable when they are walking around doing daily chores, exercising, things like that. These are all patients who are great candidates to talk to plastic surgeons about whether or not they should be having a breast reduction. So one of the things that we're doing during the breast reduction, number one, is we're reducing the volume of the breast. So we're taking away some of the mass, some of the heaviness of the tissue of the breast itself. And then after that tissue comes away, we need to reshape it. So you're not just getting a reduction, you're getting a little bit of a lift because we want to elevate the breast tissue rewrap the skin over the top of that. And the idea is we're taking off some of the weight, reshaping, repositioning the breast on the patient's chest wall. So going through the series of pictures right here, what you can see is on the left is her before photo. And on the right is her after photo taken about three months after the operation. And one of the things that we wanna look at is notice the fact that on the left side, she's got what we call pendulous or totic or hanging breast tissue. She's a young woman, uh, she's in her early 20s, she's got very healthy breast tissue that's also very heavy. It's causing her pain in her shoulders, her neck, her back. She has to wear two sports bras when she does any type of physical activity. It's just really interfering with her day-to-day -day life. So she wants to get rid of this heaviness appearance of the breast and have a more lifted position with a lighter volume, less breast tissue to be carrying around with her. So on this AP view or the front view, you can see that not only does she have a lifted appearance of where the breasts are, but she also has a significantly re reduced amount of breast tissue that she's carrying with her. One of the other things that we do with the breast reduction is reduce the diameter of the nipple and the areolar complex. So that's just making the areolar shape a little bit smaller um, in addition to lifting and reducing the weight of the breast tissue. Um, so her scar pattern is very, very indicative and kind of a classic breast reduction scar pattern in that she has an areola incision all the way around the areola, so that's the circle. She has a crease that goes all the way under the bottom of the breast, which you don't see right now because it's hidden in the breast's natural crease position. And she also has a scar that goes up and down on the front of the breast. So this is called the anchor pattern or a wise pattern uh, for the incisions themselves. It's pretty classic for breast reduction. And so I tell patients the scar around the areola is actually really well hidden because the different color of the pigment of the areola versus the surrounding skin hides that scar pretty well. And then the scar that you get at the bottom of the breast in the crease, that's really well hidden because the breast comes over the top of that. And then you do have a visible scar that comes up and down over the front of the breast, but I tell patients, don't worry about that scar. It's only present when you want it to be seen. It's not gonna be seen in any type of outfits that you're gonna wear at the beach, formal wear, workout clothes, anything like that. So don't worry about it. It's only visible when you want it to be visible. So this is looking at her from the front and this is looking at her from the side. And again, you can see that she does have just a lifted appearance of the breast and the nipple and the areola complex. And we've just taken a lot of tissue away. She's got a lot less mass on the after photo for the breast tissue than she does in the pre-op photo. Um, but at the same time, she still has a very feminine shaped breast. She has a very nice appearance. And one of the things that I tell you, and this is a great trip for anybody who's breaking down plastic surgery before and after videos and photos to make sure it's legit, try to find a landmark on the body that you can compare it to. So I always tell my patients when they're on Instagram and TikTok and looking at patient before and afters, look where the shoulders are, look at where the elbows are. And so on this patient, you can see the shoulders are directly lined up horizontally, the elbows are directly lined up. 
and the belly button also directly lined up from right to left. So you're not getting tricked by the photo that you're looking at. One zoomed in, one zoomed out. One has small shoulders, the other has huge shoulders. So just little tricks that you can use to make sure that you're not being deceived by these photos. Another thing is find a mark like the belly button or a little uh, uh, birthmark or a dimple on the arm. And for hers, I don't know if you can see it, but she's got a dimple right above her elbow on her right arm. And at that point, all of her breast and all of the nipple and the areola is below that dimple. But if you look at her after photo, the entirety of her breast is lifted up above that dimple and the nipple and the areola complex are above that as well. So it's just a way to figure out like, okay, what are we actually looking at? Is this a good result? Is this a reduced breast? And it certainly is reduced. And so again, looking at her from the side, we've taken all of that tissue at the bottom of the breast, all of that heavy dense tissue that's been weighing down and pulling down on the neck and the back. We're lifting that up after we remove the tissue. And again, looking at our special landmarks, elbow, birthmark, shoulder, consistent in the before and after photos. So you can get a true sense of just how much of breast tissue was taken away. And also the fact that in this photo, she still has a great feminine breast, really nice shape, good fullness, and nice position of the nipple and the areola. Instead of pointing down at the floor, they're pointing out straight ahead. So this is just an example again of the before and after photos for a breast reduction patient. Um, I do use the traditional anchor scar. So around the nipple, straight line down and in the crease. And again, looking at her at the side, you don't even see any of those incisions because they're hidden so nicely. And the idea behind the reduction, what I talk to patients about is, I wanna make your symptoms feel a little bit better. Back pain, shoulder pain, the bra strap grooving, want you to be able to exercise more comfortably do things in day-to-day -day life more comfortably. And um, also we are removing the tissue and lifting the tissue to give a new shape overall to the breast. And uh, I think she's got a pretty nice result. She's happy, so since she's happy, I'm happy. So thanks so much for watching this video on breast reduction before and afters. Be sure to subscribe to our page, hit that like button, and we'll see you in a video real soon.